Well, tell us about New Jack. Man, you know, it's so funny because this is like the same basic situation. Um, I got the news like right after uh, we did a show. And it's New Jack is such a complicated story because there's there's so much to it. I mean, I go through the history like when I first I remember the first I think think i saw new jack would have been on memphis television new jack and homeboy and i don't remember who homeboy was um we're like a tag team that was in there for a while and i think they might have been the tag team champions and everything or you know for a brief period and then he was doing independence in georgia and, and cornet brought him into smoky mountain and that's where he kind of made his name was in smoky mountain wrestling and it was um you know really he didn't do like the really crazy stuff he did in ECW. He did, um, cause Cornette would have never gone for that. Um, so he, he brought him in with the idea. And it was a very hate, uh, racially charged character. Him and Mustafa, uh, were groomed for the Rock and Roll Express, just, you know, new heels for the Rock and Roll Express who were the top stars in his territory, which was, which was going down and doing poorly or, or doing badly, I would say. It was on, it, it was going down and, um, he was hoping to supercharge the territory using these guys to really inflame people. And I remember watching it and the first, the, my impression when I first saw it was that this is not going to work because I think that there was a feeling, um, and you know, Cornette has, 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 you know, has said that he misread this one. He thought that it would get so much heat that people would come out to see them get beat. And instead, it got so much heat that, uh, or whatever it is, that people didn't come. So it's actually like the perfect analogy of when people say there's no such thing as bad heat or the difference between good heat and bad heat. It's like when people stopped coming, and they did, you know, attendance dwindled during this. And Cornette said, you know, he, he misread. And um, so it was not successful. And actually, the territory was in worse shape afterwards. Now, as it was going down, um, Paul Heyman brought them in as, uh, you know, the gangsters and redid them, you know, first as heels and everything. But, um, and they were a hit in ECW because it was a different, it was Philadelphia and, um, it was just, a, he, 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 he had a different dynamic. And New Jack actually became like one of the real faces of ECW. Like when you think of the, the nineties era of ECW, um, you know, there's all kinds of, you know, when you look back, there's all kinds of things, whether it's Sabu, who was, you know, the big star, Tommy Dreamer, and the different angles with Tommy Dreamer and Raven, and, um, you know, Sandman with the cigarettes and the big ring entrance to enter the Sandman and all that stuff. It was a really, um, you know, to the people, I mean, it was, it was a really, uh, ECW is very, very memorable. I mean, one of the things with ECW that's so impressive is that if you look at its highlights, um, I remember when, when WWE released the, the ECW video, the, 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 the first one, the one that did like giant business, and you watch it kind of like that, you go like, this is really brilliant. And there was a lot of, I mean, some of the angles were absolutely brilliant. And the usage of New Jack, I mean, New Jack was not a great wrestler, but he was a... I mean, he was a, a really great promo. He was very, very charismatic. He was scary as hell, um, you know, and did a lot of things. Like, I, I remember there'd be, like, he would be, you know, whether it's, it's you know, fights, like real fights in the dressing room and things like that. And, I you know, I, I was always, like, you know, you know, um, it, it was always one of those things where, like, the next time he does something, you know, um, it, it, Heyman would always say, like, the next time he does something, we're going to have to let him go, and then there'd be something. And then he'd be, he, I mean, he knew that the crowd loved him. Um, and unfortunately for, for New Jack, the thing that they loved the most was him diving off balconies. So he would dive. I mean, you could look at the different clips that you'll see of him diving off the balconies. And... I mean, the the issue of diving off high balconies through tables is that it it hurts really, really bad. It's 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 inhuman, you know, the level of stuntman work that was, and and it worked. You know, on the shows they would he would come out there, would bring in the the weapons and the garbage cans and everything like that. The music would play the whole time. It'd be whatever it was, several, you know, not too long. 
but the crowd would go absolutely nuts. It was part of the of the experience of going to an ECW show as New Jack coming in there and doing some really violent stuff and jumping off the balcony, and and he did some like like really crazy stuff. Um, you know, on on the flip side, you know, it's like one of the memories I have of ECW, most vivid memories. And when you come to New Jack, it's one of the first things you think of is like the Eric Kula situation, where, you know, I mean. That was a very, that was one of the, I mean, that's one of the worst things that I ever saw in wrestling. I mean, I've seen some of like, um, it was interesting because we just saw the, the, the Nick day, the Nick Gage, uh, show. Did you watch Nick Gage show on Thursday? I haven't yet. No. Okay. Um, it's really good. Um, but the, okay. So the thing with Nick Gage being, you know, like, like Mick Foley was the hardcore legend and Nick Gage went way, way, way farther with just, you know, you know, beatings with light tubes and things like this, and they showed like, you know, just um, and and with Nick Gage, you know, it led to you know that and other things led to you know terrible drug dependency, um, and they went through all that, and and you know, obviously robbed a bank and everything like that. So 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 the, the Nick Gage story, you should like watch it um, just to see it. With with Nick Gage, I mean, the thing when I like, it's like I. It's really hard for me to watch that wrestling. That's a you know, I mean, I I know it's got, um, and that's the uh, you know, I guess would be the next step from the New Jack thing. Um, New Jack didn't do, they didn't go that crazy. Um, there are people who like it. It's got its place in wrestling, I guess. I mean, it does. It it exists. Um, but like with, you know, like Nick Gage and and those guys would get hurt. Um, and New Jack too. I mean, New Jack got hurt. He 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 would hurt himself to entertain the fans and and to get the you know the what, what there was thrills with him and you know it led to you know all kinds of injuries. Um, but when going to the Eric Kulis thing, that was like one of the worst things I saw I've ever seen in wrestling. I I just you know and and um, I know I don't I don't know how easily it is to access the the the, the tape now you know or the um, the thing. But I I mean. When I saw that, it was it was just so bad. I mean, it went into court. You know, they had a court case over it and everything like that. And then I, you know, think of, you know, the the all the stuff in the New Jack Dark Side of the Ring. You couldn't watch the New Jack Dark Side of the Ring. And there was a part of me where it was just like, I know, like, you know, New Jack was a great promo, and and uh, you know, again, one of the things with characters in wrestling is is that you want people to um, react, which you could get them to do. Uh, you want people to, you know, have have a certain, um, you know, the one thing that he could do is is that he he felt dangerous, and he was dangerous. He felt dangerous when when you watched it, and there's a certain thrill in watching that with a lot of people. And it's, it's an interesting character, but there was also, you know, the different incidents when you watch Dark Side, and I would I would watch I watched that, and it was like I I didn't like the way um it almost glorified the really unprofessional stuff you know like beating up gypsy joe 70 years old or things like that i mean and he did stuff like that so it's like a very mixed thing i want to say that i'm very very sorry um you know when i got the news i was really sad when i when i saw it you know i mean again 58 years old is, is very young heart attack um you know as soon as it happens you start thinking about all of that mileage that he put on his body and all of the stuff he did to medicate because of those injuries those ridiculous amount of injuries and the amount of pain that he must have been in doing all that and it's kind of like um you know i mean i mean the, the the thing you know it was it was a very weird feeling um you know i didn't know him obviously you know you, you have some encounters with people and everything but i didn't really know him but I felt really sad. It's a guy from, you know, again, it's a guy that I watched all the time. I watched ECW for years and years and years. And, you know, you, I, I mean, it's like I hate, um, it's, it's just sad when you look back at something that you watched and you have to go and then somebody dies and you have to kind of go with this feeling that, you know, what you watched took years off of his life because it 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 most definitely did um and you know that's a hard that's a hard one to deal with and and especially you know with you know watching nick gage 
you know who nearly died in in uh, one of those death match things and it's like died is like such a it's just a sad thing i mean and pain and everything like that long-term pain and things like that um and i know like you know pro wrestling you're gonna have that um to a degree and um like I, you know, it, it was it's just, you know, again, it's, it's, you know, a lot of guys died young for different reasons. And, and this was another one. And, um, you know, it's like, I think about all those balcony dives and it's just like, you know, to, to take 20 years off of his life. Um, not the dives themselves, but just, but the injuries and the medicating of the injuries and everything his heart gave out. Um, you know, it's, it's just a, one of those questions. And, um, you know, again, it's another, another guy from that era um and I, I you know i felt really i felt really bad um you know i mean people will people everyone's got their new jack stories that lived through that era because he was one of the most colorful characters that there ever was um you know he he had a unique memorable vibe about him and you know i there's there's a part of me that goes like if it was his talking his talking ability was that good his believability was that good if he could have been harnessed in a different way could he have made a lot a lot of money without a lot of damage and and he could have it's very possible um you know he obviously never got the giant money you know per se because um he was never in wwe um even though in that period in the late 90s it wasn't you know you know um you know his heyday would have been before the big boom but he was young enough to where he could have been part of the big boom in in wwe or or wcw where a lot of people made a lot of money um and he could have been one of those guys um had you know he been less dangerous because again it was like is it worth the risk i mean with ecw it was always you know like okay i know he's super over but you know this incident happened and this incident happened but you know and 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 paul um i i i whatever whatever reason it's like he really wanted that guy around and you know allowed the guy or or or, or didn't discipline the guy and you know you can whatever the reason was um you know when and in the end it was because he thought that the guy was over and he was part of that ecw experience and and he was gonna give people that um but it's a man it's a new jack's such a complicated story but um you know i mean like for all the people who uh you know again he, he had a lot of friends he was i mean i he was you know would read different wrestlers talk about different things and um you know again his talk his storytelling and um and he could be funny as hell i mean i didn't really experience that because i like i said i was not he was not a guy that i was friends with or really knew but he was a character that was one of the most memorable players of that mid 90s period and when you think of ecw um i mean there's a I, I think of a million different things including you know a lot of good things when i think of ecw a lot of creative things a lot of great angles and everything like that um a lot of bad business things as well and you know those memorable things like that balcony dive and you know one of the things like again and, and the new jack like the new jack dark side i mean you'll see this they really hit the what i would say the highlights in the career i think that's a very good piece to understand new jack you know um and and everything and uh, you know the other one and, and i actually just watched it um uh yesterday was um the thing with vic grimes who you know i do know vic grimes a little bit because he's from here and you know i watched it again and it's like Man, I mean, like the you know both of the ones, the one that New Jack got mad about. I mean, they really, um, they they could have killed each other, and then the other one he could have killed Vic Grimes. I mean, he didn't, but he could have. I mean, that stuff was way like you know that was way too dangerous. And it, it you know when I watch it again, it's like oh my god, it's like I mean I remember it, but you know it's it's just like. It, it it bothers me when when things get to the point of i mean like a guy literally could break his neck or die i mean there's always a risk and there's always the risk of a freak accident but that risk was just you know i mean to me just way 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 beyond the pale you know what i mean when you watch the margin of error and everything like that thank god thank god it didn't happen um 
but you know, and then New Jack describing it and everything that he was, you know, whatever that he you know, was going to get back at him and he didn't care. And I mean, I, I, you know, is that character? Is that you know trying to get over doing that? Um, you know, it, 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 you know, to me, uh, it doesn't come off well. Um, but you know, like I said, he's a very complicated. It's a man. It's a complicated character there, and and. and um, you know, I understand. Believe me, I understand when people were, uh, man, I was so upset, though, just because, you know, you get that that thought. I mean, in this one, for whatever reason, maybe because of the extreme moves that he did, um, there was that feeling to me that like, like this is a this is directly related or it's in or related in some form um, to, you know, everything from that those moves and everything like that um that that and and i just i don't know man life's so precious and to shorten your life over it is is very very sad i want to mention two things if you go to actually there's a lot of places you can go you can go to gofundme you can go to my twitter at brian alvarez there's a link up there for a gofundme for his wife uh, it's at seven thousand dollars thus far so you can check that out there and also on friday uh, we found out about New Jack about 20 minutes before we did the show with Lance. And so Lance obviously had many memories of New Jack. So if you yeah, want to well, hear... He was, he, was, he, was, he was with him in ECW, like every show. And that's like, it's, that's an interesting thing with Lance and him because um, I cannot think of two more opposite people in this world than Lance Storm and New Jack. There would not be many. Yeah, I mean, and and but I know Lance was really upset. Lance and I even had some interaction tonight, actually, uh, kind of talking about that. And you know, it it I know it affected him, and it affected it affected me a lot. You know, again, because it's like you know, it's like um, because he was such a vivid, memorable character, and um, so yeah. Let's check out Friday's show and uh, a lot of memories of New Jack on that show. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week, you can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work. Working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.